After purchasing your truck, you'll drop it off at your truck builder's garage and he'll start to get to work on it, assuming you already worked out a written contract with clear payment terms. Every truck builder has his own payment terms. For example, you may have to deposit 30% up front, 30% upon completion of the build out and 40% when the truck passes inspection. Make sure to discuss the build out timeline with them so that you know exactly when to order each piece of equipment to the garage for installation. You'll also need to start discussing the options you want to add to your truck. The following are some of the most useful features we opted for that we believe are totally worth the extra cost. For both the prep table and the fridge or freezer, I would ask your truck builder to install some sort of locking mechanism on the doors so that they don't swing open while you drive the truck. You could potentially forego an entire day's worth of sales if your fridge door were to swing open and all the prep food spilled out onto the floor. You may be presented with the option of installing a service window on both sides of your truck. This is extremely useful if you live in a city that has a lot of one-way streets, but it may cost around $3,000 or more depending on the size and layout of your truck. We opted for windows on both sides because probably 80% of the streets in Manhattan are one-way streets. You may also have the option to install ceiling vents that you can open and close manually to let heat escape. The vents can just be openings in your ceiling or they can have electric fans installed to actively help pull heat to the outside. This of course is in addition to any vents that you must install over your cooking equipment. This option may cost around $1,000 or more, but it definitely helps if it goes over 80 degrees where you operate. Remember, whatever the temperature is outside, the inside of a truck will be around 20 or more degrees higher in the summer. Oh God, it's so hot. Ugh, Brian, spit on me. Oh, that's nice. Now tell me I'm scum. How will that cool you off? Mm -hmm. Another useful feature that I mentioned in the previous chapter is a direct hookup from your truck's gas tank to the generator. This is assuming you have a gasoline powered truck. This means that you can refill the generator without ever coming into direct contact with gasoline. It also means you don't need to carry on gas containers to refill your generator. See if your truck builder can install a backup camera. Trucks that don't have backup cameras usually have a backup mirror installed on one of the back corners of the truck. However, having a camera makes it a hundred times easier to back into a parking spot. Stop looking at us! It also allows you to see if there are any pedestrians crossing behind your truck. And in busy cities, you'd be surprised how many people actually cross behind your truck, even though it's clear that you're trying to get into a parking spot. If you plan to do dinner service, definitely install lights on the insides of your serving windows so that when it's open, customers will be standing underneath bright lights. You'll also need to decide how you want your menu board to be. Number one, make it part of your truck wrap. The advantage is that there will be no extra cost for the initial printing because you would have to wrap that part of your truck anyway. The disadvantage of this is that if you ever want to make any changes to either the menu items, the prices, or the overall design, you'll have to either reprint that section of the wrap, which can be pricey, or black out whatever is there and write over it, which just looks really cheap. Another possible disadvantage is that people usually print the menu on only one side of their truck because they want to reserve the entire other side for a big logo or other design elements. If you print the menu on both sides, it could make your truck look cluttered with too much information. The only cost is for the initial menu design, which can range from $60 to $300 or more to depending on how artistic it is. Number two, print a laminated menu that attaches to the side of your truck. It's laminated. The advantage is that it can be much bigger than with the first option because it go from your serving window all the way to the front corner of your truck. In other words, it can cover even the driver or passenger side windows if you want. With a truck wrap, you can't cover the windows because obviously that would be a major driving hazard. But a laminated menu can be placed and removed at any time. Another advantage is that if you serve out of both sides of a truck, you can put out the menu on whichever side you need for that day. The disadvantage is that the menu can fly away, it can fall down, it can be stolen. The cost is for the initial menu design, which is 60 bucks or more, plus printing it on a sturdy plastic frame, which depends on the size and print quality, but generally $50 to $100. Number three, attach a chalkboard or whiteboard to the side of your truck. The advantage is that you can make changes to the menu and the prices very easily and for free. The disadvantage is that it can look cheap depending on the quality of the penmanship, the color scheme, and any design elements. Also, you'll have to rewrite and redraw parts of the menu often because the chalk or ink will fade. Depending on the size, expect to pay $30 or more for a chalkboard or a whiteboard. If you want your truck builder to install it for you, you may pay an extra 50 bucks or so. Number four, use an A-frame menu and place it on the sidewalk. The A-frame can have a laminated printed menu. It can be a whiteboard or a chalkboard, it's up to you. The advantage is that it frees up space on the sides of your truck for other design elements. The A-frame could also serve as a menu extension, meaning you could have the main menu as part of the truck wrap or as a stuck-on laminated menu, and then use the A-frame for the day's specials or announcements. 
The disadvantage is that you'll always have to store it on your truck, and it can take up quite a bit of space. The good ones are also heavier than you might expect. Finally, if you use a whiteboard or a chalkboard and it rains, the writing may start to fade or bleed. Good quality A-frames that won't fly away start around $75. Number five, hand out laminated menus that you give to customers. You can either print a handful and have customers return them to you when they place an order, or print a bunch of them and give them out to customers to keep. The advantage is that it can give a more upscale feel to your food truck if done correctly, meaning if it's not printed from your home printer. You can also fit a lot more information on the menu because you have a front and back side. The disadvantage is that if you print a handful of menus meant to be used and returned, they can get bent, ripped, and lost easily. For either option, expect to pay more money in the long run. The cost for the menu design will be around 60 bucks or more, and the cost for printing really depends on the quantity, thickness of the paper, how many folds, black, white, or color, etc. Number six, install a TV behind a glass plate. The advantage is that it is very bright and the colors will pop. This is especially useful if you do dinner service. You can also make some small changes to the menu for very cheap or for free just by editing the menu file on a computer. The disadvantage is obviously the tremendous cost associated with purchasing the TV, the mount, a memory stick, and then having the truck builder cut out a piece from the side of your truck, installing a smash-proof glass plate, running wiring, and then finally installing the TV. The cost for a decent 42-inch TV is maybe around 250 bucks. The mount might be $50 and a small memory stick, 20 bucks. The initial menu design will be $60 or more. The installation and the glass plate will cost you at least $500. At this point, you should also start looking for someone to design your food truck wrap or to paint your truck. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the term, a wrap is a large vinyl graphic that's applied to the outside of a vehicle. They're very commonly used for commercial vans or pickup trucks to advertise a business. If your truck builder knows someone who can do the wrap, great. If not, you can search Google or ask other food trucks that you think have nice wraps for a referral. You can also go back to the sites that I told you about like Freelancer or Fiverr. Aside from the design of the wrap, the only other major decision you'll need to make is whether to use cast vinyl or calendared vinyl for the material. Unless you plan to paint most of the truck and apply just a few small decals or stickers, definitely stick with cast vinyl. It's more expensive, but it's much more durable. It won't fade as easily, and it can last many years. Pricing varies, but you can expect a full cast vinyl wrap for a step fan to cost around $4,000. If you want to save some money, or you just like the look of paint better, you can choose to paint your truck instead of using a wrap. A professional paint job for a step fan will be around half the price as a wrap. If you paint it yourself, it's much cheaper than that, obviously. So it really depends on how much of a build out that you plan to do, but you can expect to pay between $10,000 to $40,000 for a food truck build out. So on the low end, this brings our total to $41,475, and on the high end, brings us to $138,725.